Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number one, basic machine components and controls. The purpose of this training program is to help you become a good operator of the Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine. The training will consist of a series of television tapes which will be your main source of basic information about the bar machine. There are several minor differences between models of the Brown and Sharp machines. You will be shown the number two and the double aught machines in this training program. This television training tape will identify by name, show you the location of, and explain the purpose for each of the major components in the Brown and Sharp automatic screw machine. This is the main power switch. It is located on the back of the machine cabinet. This switch provides electrical power to the machine. With the main power switch in the off position, the operating controls will not function. You will find several different types of control stations depending upon the age of the machine you will be operating. This is a control station for a more recent model machine. It is divided into two sections. This section controls the rotating spindle. Once the spindle start button is pressed, the spindle will rotate until the stop button is depressed. The flow of coolant also starts with the spindle start button. The right side of the control station controls the drive shaft to the machine. This drive shaft section will permit you to start and stop the tools as they move into the bar of stock. The start control will start the feeding action once it is depressed and it will continue until the stop button is pressed. The jog control will enable you to quickly start and stop the tool feeding action without depressing the stop button. As long as the jog button is depressed, the feeding will occur. As soon as you stop pressing the switch, the machine will stop. Some older machines will have a lever to engage the drive shaft instead of the three push buttons shown earlier. To disengage feed, move the lever to the right. To engage the feed, move the lever to the left. This is the spindle. The purpose of the spindle is to rotate the bar of stock. There are other components inside the spindle that must hold and feed the bar of stock at exactly the right moment during the machining cycle. However, it is the spindle that causes the rotating motion. The direction the spindle turns is determined by this switch on the left side of the cabinet. There are also some operations in which the spindle will be stopped and rotated in the opposite direction during the machining cycle. Tapping is an example of one operation that requires reversing the spindle. There are two parts to the screw machine which bring tools into the rotating bars of stock. The first is the cross slide. This is the front cross slide. There are always a minimum of two cross slides on the Brown and Sharp automatic screw machine. This is the rear cross slide. A third and fourth slide may be added on some machines. They are called vertical slides. The cross slides are controlled by cams on this camshaft. The operations performed by the cross slide includes the forming or shaping of the outside diameters and cutting off the finished parts. There is a second cutting or machining part to the screw machine. It is the turret. The turret will have six to eight tool holding positions. 
The purpose of the turret is to perform all end tooling operations. The rotating motion of the turret is called indexing. The turret will index to bring a different tool into the rotating bar of stock several times during the machining cycle of one part. The turret is mounted on the turret slide. The movement of the turret slide causes the tools to contact the rotating bar of stock. Examples of the type of work performed by the turret include drilling, reaming, turning, and internal or external threading. In addition to cams, Brown and Sharp machines have trip dogs. These are the dog carriers. The purpose of the dog carriers is to start and stop various operations on the machine. All dog carriers for the double aught machine are located on this camshaft. Trip levers make contact with trip dogs positioned around the dog carrier. There will be times when you will move the trip levers by hand to manually start certain operations on the machine. Two of the dog carriers for the number two machine are located here. This is the turret dog carrier. Its purpose is to cause the turret to index. The other carrier will have dogs that will cause the spindle to reverse directions and or change speeds. The stock feed dog carrier on both models is located on the left side of the machine. Each time the lever is tripped, the stock feed mechanism will go through one cycle. This is the hand wheel. The purpose of the hand wheel is to allow you to manually move the screw machine through its cycle of operation. It is used during setup and for checking operations. Each time a part is cut off, a work chute directs the part into a bin. This is the work chute trip dog on the number two model. This is the work chute trip dog on the double aught model. This completes your first television training tape. You may watch this tape as many times as you need. When you have finished watching this tape, return to the operator booklet for your next step.